So this is the factory third generation Cummins exhaust manifold turbocharger setup. And this is the position that it would be in if it were mounted to the engine block if you're looking into the engine compartment. You see here that this is where it would attach to the engine block. And then you've got the turbocharger coming at a downward angle off the manifold between the number four and number five cylinders right there. Here's the turbo, here's the uh, intercooler pipe, and there's the elbow going to the downpipe. So this is what the factory third generation exhaust manifold and turbocharger setup looks like. So now here's the comparison with the uh, second generation style manifold when you do a second generation swap. So here's the exhaust manifold. This is a stainless uh, diesel exhaust manifold. Probably one of the finest exhaust manifolds you can buy for a Cummins. It's made out of a 400 series stainless steel. And this one came with the uh, compound turbo kit that I've got on here. If you're interested in that, I've got a different video. But you can see that the turbocharger now comes off at an upward angle right in the middle between the third and fourth uh, cylinders. So why do a second generation swap? Well, this, this is a performance exhaust manifold. It's got larger diameter, better flow. Uh, and there are quite a few compound turbo kits that uh, uh, require the second generation swap. It gives you a few more options there. The reason I went with this is because when my factory injectors went bad, I put 100% over extra injectors in this truck because I wanted to do a performance build and with, uh, with more fuel you need uh, better exhaust evacuation and you need to upgrade your air also. So that's why I went with this one. Some people think that when you do a second generation manifold swap on a third generation or fourth generation Cummins or, or even fifth generation, that's gonna make it sound like a second generation 24 valve, which is probably the best sounding Cummins there is that ever, everyone wants to emulate that sound. But um, the truth is, yeah, this second generation manifold will make it sound a little bit different, but the main reason the uh, the 24 valves second generation sound the way they do is because the way they're fueled. They're fueled by VP44 pumps, whereas this is a common rail. Uh, common rails have multiple injection events. The early common rails, 03 to 04.5s, have two injection events, pre-injection event, main injection event. And after 04.5, it started having three injection events, pre, main, and post. So it, it smooths out the rattle, makes it more of a purr. So uh, just swapping the exhaust manifold is not going to make it sound exactly like a 24, like the early uh, 24 valves. But uh, it does make it sound a little bit different. It sounds pretty good. And overall, it's a high-flowing performance uh, exhaust manifold. And if you're looking for a exhaust manifold, want to do a second gen swap, definitely check out stainless diesel. They're probably the best in the business. So I hope this was helpful to you to kind of illustrate the difference between the uh, factory third gen setup and the second gen swap. And if you're interested in the way this sounds, I've got some other videos you can check out that does some before and after exhaust sounds. And uh, thanks for watching.